Hey everyone, this is Shanta and just wanted to wish everyone a happy new year and I thought I would start off the new year um, with a tag video. Um, Cynthia of uh, Send Millie 2000, I believe is the channel, um, tagged me with the 10 things you wish you had known 10 years ago. And, you know, New Year, everybody's, you know, reflective on, um, you know, the past year or the past or things like that. And um, so I thought that was a, a good video to, you know, bring in the New Year with. Um, but I would say, honestly, for me, 10 years isn't far enough. Like, a lot of the mistakes that I've made in my life... Um, you know, and I, and I, you know, I, I'll call them mistakes. I'll call them regrets. Some people say that um, you don't, you don't have regrets, or you know, they're learning life lessons or whatnot. But you know, I, I'll, I'll say I, I have, I do, I do have uh, regrets. Some things that I think about um, that I did in my younger years, but um, ten years, I was probably already well into that roller coaster of um, <laughs> the problem so uh probably about 13 years probably would have helped me a little bit better but uh to stay consistent with the tag um i would say number one the, the most important lesson that i have learned is that um you must be mentally fit to accept a relationship um if you are not all right in yourself um then the person that you attract most likely is not going to be what you need you're going to be filling a void that may be temporary and then once you have gotten over whatever it is um that person is still going to be there and you may not no longer be in that place once you get out of that place that you were in that brought you to that person. So, um, my biggest, my big thing would be make sure that you are mentally ready to commit to something that's going to be long term. Um, like I said, like, you know, 13, 14 years ago, I lost my mom and I think a lot of the decisions that I made at that time um, was me trying to put family back together. And I was doing that in a, in a state of grief. And had I not been in that state or if I had not been thinking with that state, then I probably would not have chose, you know, people that I was with or where what I did with myself you know as far as everything school um, my girl's father all of those things you know I probably would have made completely different uh, decisions if I had not been uh, thinking with grief basically um, so I would my number one would be you know make sure that you are in your even keel state before you go and you know make very drastic decisions um, 10 years ago was around about when I first went natural. Um, so I would, you know, I don't regret any of my journey. Um, I like that I did, you know, the, the uh, you know, I was natural for a little bit. You know, I, I, I don't regret cutting off the, you know, doing the TWA and doing from that. So, you know, that's fine. Um, so I guess, you know, only to say, you know, I wish I would have did it sooner. Um, but 10 years is right at the point that I did, uh, basically, uh, uh, go completely natural. Um, I would say another thing that I wish I had realized is that, um, you have to put, I wish like 10 years ago, I would say I did not put as much into myself. I did not, um. You know, I made sure my daughter was dressed and that was enough. I didn't necessarily focus on myself. And um, 
and that had always, in a sense, kind of been the case. I wish I had, uh, at that time, uh, learned to put um, more time into myself. I mean, you know, now, you know, I do the makeup or whatever, and, and, that's, and that's good. But, you know, at 30, to me, I mean, I wish this all wasn't, you know, new, new, new things to me. You know, I wish I had been taking a little more time into my appearance, you know, all along. Um, because it's important. And, you know, I, I'm trying now to install that into my daughters that, you know, it does matter. You know, look at yourself before you go running out the house, you know, that, that you know, that care and time that you take into yourself, people notice. And, you know, nobody's going to come at you with a whole lot of... Uh, I think it projects a, a, a level of self-confidence when you put more time into yourself. And nobody's going to take you for somebody that can be easily, you know, taken advantage of because um, you have a lot of self-awareness because you have taken some time, you know, put some effort into yourself. Um, another thing I would say I wish I knew 10 years ago, um, if you got the cash, buy the cash. Do not swipe. Um, everything's cool now, but, um, it took, you know, it took a little bit, you know, it took, took some budgeting and, and, and restraint and things like that to get things to where they are now. But, um, you know, when you're young and you're just, you know, in college and they're giving you cards up the yin yang, you know, please, you know, exercise some control, you know, you don't need to charge everything and, and everything is not needed right now um so um so that would be another thing if you got the cash pay for cash you know don't say oh i'm gonna charge it now and um do it later um let's see what else i should have maybe wrote these down ahead of time um i would say have fun um Again, staying back to that whole issue of the, you know, making some decisions out of grief and all of that. Um, I would say the last 10 years of my life, I really wasn't having a lot of fun. Um, you know, I have I have fun now. I have my old lady fun that I could have now at 30. And I know 30 isn't old, but, you know, you, you, you do. You, things start to kind of go on and then decline a little bit. And... Um, so sometimes I do wish that I had not been so serious and focused, you know, um, in my younger days. Like I didn't do the, I didn't do any, you know, club dancing, going out, hanging out with the girls. I I didn't do that. Um, so you know, and now that I'm older and you know even more settled than I was, you know, I was pretty settled then, but I'm very very settled now. You know, fun is different, but, you know, when people talk and, you know, when you get around younger, you know, people my age, and they talk about, oh, when I was 20, I did this, this, that, and, you know, and I don't, I don't have those stories. So I don't have anything to really say or <laughs> add to the conversation. And, you know, and, and it's, it's fine, but, you know, there, there's also, too, probably a level of naivety that I have, um, even at this age, because I really, you know, wasn't in the mix of things so it saved me from a lot of things on one hand and on one hand it also um, probably uh, is a negative um, another thing too I would say is hold on to friendships like don't let your friendships go very easily and um, I was very guilty in my early years of just kind of letting small things allow um, me to just dismiss people and to, you know, dismiss people out of my life. And now as, you know, now that I'm older, it's like, and I think back on those situations, it's like, you know what, we, we, we could have worked that out or, you know, I didn't need to just shut down from that situation. Um, because you, when you get older, you, you want to have, I mean, you, you just want to have people around you that, you know, you have those memories and that you know you could talk about I mean it, it's just it's a good thing to have you know have that that girlfriend that you've had for the past 15 years I mean that's that's priceless and um, and perhaps if I had been a better friend 
you know, maybe I might have that. But, you know, I don't I don't really have that at, at this stage in my life. So 10 years ago, I would say, you know, I wish I could tell the Shanta back then um, to be a better friend. Um, so I know that's not really 10. I'm sure that's not 10. But um, that's all I could really think of really quickly without this video getting to be a half an hour tear jerker with Kleenexes and stuff like that. But um, I just wanted to come in and to, you know, to address the tag. And if you can do better than me and <laughs> consolidate 10 things that you would have wanted to do uh, differently 10 years ago, then please feel free to uh, do that and, um, you know, attach it, send it to me. I'll attach it to this one. No problem. All right. So I'll be back in a minute to do some more videos of, you know, more regular content of this channel. Um, but I will talk to you guys soon.